Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, AKA Loaded Wombat, and today we are talking about Twitch overlays. Now, to be clear, I'm not talking about like the, the nitty gritty of how to set up a whole, how to make a whole Twitch overlay and whatnot. I'm gonna share 10 tips with you that'll make your overlays look better. It'll make it easier for you to edit overlays, things like that, and it'll spark ideas for you. Oh, I'm gonna stop you right there, everybody, because I wanna talk to you about today's sponsor of this video. Now, before you fast forward, when you see the sponsor come up and all that kind of stuff, this actually applies to this video, which is really, really cool. And I'm talking about my good friends over at owned.tv. And more specifically, their recent product called Owned Pro. What this is is an OBS Studio plugin that allows you to get things like overlays, labels, alerts, live chatbot integration, Twitch chatbot coming soon, and also copyright free music coming soon. So maybe you're somebody who doesn't know how to build an overlay from scratch, or you don't want to just pay, you want to have hundreds of overlays to pick from. This is perfect for you. Through this plugin, you'll be able to install overlays and alerts with one click. You'll have all the stream labels that you need, as well as you'll be able to embed your Twitch chat into OBS Studio and display that on the screen. Might have heard all this and say, yeah, whatever, Nick, I don't, I'm not, I, I'm not going to pay for that. But how about you just try it out for free in the link down below? And if you like it, you know, maybe you do go for it. Thank you and owned.tv for uh, sponsoring the video. You're, this is my first sponsored video. So thank you. Thank you all. Okay. All right. Let's jump into the rest of the video. Tip number one, it seems pretty obvious, but it is something that needs to be said is that simpler is better. A lot of times we're trying to add tons and tons of things to our overlays to make them some crazy thing. And it just really gets amateur looking and nasty looking, to be honest with you. I'm gonna pop up on the screen some of the big guys, some of the big streamers, some of their overlays. You'd be surprised at how simple these are. When you look at these, you start to see that it's all about the gameplay and all about putting the eye towards something. Now there is some exceptions outside of the gameplay screen with the just chatting screens. You have more people who do like tons of different things like that but realistically even in those ones it's simple and it's, it's concise so tip number two is hold down control and alt and the reason i'm putting these in here is because we're going to use these for a couple of the tips coming up and so what you're going to do with control and alt, so in control in particular what this is going to do when you hold it down you're going to be able to move things without having it snap to a grid and, and that's really helpful because if you want to really get precise and where you're moving stuff you just hold that down and it won't snap to a grid and when you hold down alt where you would go to normally resize something it actually starts to crop it in for you so you can quickly crop things now this sends us right into to number three, which is cropping your camera. This is something that uh, a lot of people don't do, and it's something that I think is actually really helpful for the audience. On your gameplay screen, I want you to think about possibly maybe zooming in your camera and cropping the outside to really make your face the focal point of your camera on your gameplay screen. So what this does is it allows people to see your reactions and they will subconsciously feel more connected with you. Basically zoom it in like I am right now on the screen and, and crop in to where you kind of feel comfortable and where you feel like people can see your reactions and, and they feel a little bit more connected with you versus it being completely zoomed out and they can barely see what's going on. Number four on our list is scrolling text and you can use this for whatever the heck you want to use it for. But basically for this, what you're going to do is you're going to go to a text that you have on the screen. You're going to right click you're going to go to filters. You're going to hit the plus sign and then you're going to go to scroll. Then you can set the horizontal speed or the vertical speed of your scroll. And you'll notice it looks like one big word. And you're like, wait, what the, what the heck do I do with this? What you're going to do is you're going to go to the actual text. You're going to put some space at the end of the text and that will allow it to be like, like, you know, a separated word. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about is emotes showing up on the screen. Now you might've seen something like this happening on someone else's stream where like, you know, when there's emotes in the chat, maybe they bounce down or, or maybe they do whatever, or when somebody follows, there's like an emote explosion, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna show you how to do that. That is through stream elements. So if you go to stream elements, you'll go to your overlays. You'll click on the overlay that you use. And if you've never done an overlay in stream elements, what you'll do is you'll, create a blank overlay. It'll make the size of your screen. Then you're gonna add a widget, go to alerts, and then you're gonna add Capogen. I made this the size of my whole like overlay. Now there is a whole bunch of settings that you have on the left side here that say, uh, you know, chat mode, chat emotes, show all, do a combo mode, uh, emote explosion. You can choose it for follower subs, tips, cheers, hosts, raids, purchases, that kind of stuff. So actually a cool thing because it gives like a little bit more like hype when things are going on. But also they have on here, like when people put emotes in chat, they can kind of fly on the screen or, or show up on the screen, which I, I actually really like a lot. And once you set up that overlay in stream elements, what you're going to do is you're going to go save. You're going to give it a name and then you're going to go to this copy overlay URL. You'll hit copy overlay URL. 
you'll come back over to your your stream elements and then you're going to add a browser source with that in it that one make sure you play around with the settings you have a whole bunch of different things you can do and set cooldowns and all that kind of stuff so uh, just make sure you play around with it a little bit uh, instead of to what your liking is. The next thing we have is varying alert sounds. And this is something that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, like when somebody gifts like five subs, you can do a different alert there. When somebody gifts like 10 subs, you can gift alert or have an alert there. Or if they do a, su a subscription versus a gifted subscription, something that you see a lot that is a problem because when somebody gifts like 10 subs, all of a sudden your sub alert goes off 10 times. And it's kind of like, oh, thank you so much for the 10 subs, but this is really annoying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's never annoying to get 10 subs. Let me clear that up, but yeah. So what you're gonna do for this one uh, is you'll go to your, well, we'll just create a new one. So we'll go over to create an overlay. Uh, you're gonna go to the, you know, 1080p, put all your stuff in, go to alert box. And what you're gonna see here on stream elements, you're gonna go to settings. And so for a subscriber alert, we go into settings. Now this is all the default stuff. I'm not gonna change all this just for time's sake, but then you'll go down to variation settings and you can add different variations here. So we have a resubscriber here. We've got a sub gifter, subscriber gift. So whenever the subscription is a gift, that will come through. So say we want to set up somebody gifting five subs. We want to do a different alert. So what you'll do is you'll create a new vari variation. So you'll go to, uh, five gifted is what I'll just call it, right? We'll go to subscription uh, community gift is what it's called. An exact amount, right? For five gifted subs, 100% chance. So 100% chance of this going off when you get five, when, when I get five gifted subs. Basically after that, you would put all your personalized stuff and make it your own, but that's kind of how you set up the parameters. There is other parameters in here where you have subscription tier, you got month subscribed, You've got all that kind of stuff. So make sure you guys check that out to give the people the recognition who are supporting you. Up next, we have putting your name on your webcam. This is something that people do and people don't do and whatnot. I think this is a really good idea to have like an overlay that you have a, your name on your camera. Um, not necessarily too much busyness going on, but just having your name on your camera is actually really useful for one, when you're taking clips and you're putting them on social media. That's something that really helps out for two reasons. Number one, if your clip ever goes big or whatever, they will see your name right there on the screen versus it, you know, you haven't them having to go down and whatnot. They can be like, oh, that's a loaded wombat or whatever. And then they can look into more. Um, or if somebody ever like rips your clip, like takes your clip and post it and it gets millions of views and whatever, your name is still on it versus it just being a clip that no one knows who the heck you are. Up next is a starting soon screen timer. This is something that a lot of people don't do and a lot of people do wrong. Now, starting soon screen is a debatable topic when it comes to streaming and especially for small streamers, but a starting soon screen, in my opinion, I like to have it because I like to start a show and kind of have this big thing. If you're gonna have a starting soon screen as a small creator, it is absolutely important to have a timer on that starting soon screen because if you don't have a timer, then no one has any idea when you're starting. You could be starting in two hours. You could be starting in, in five minutes. You could be starting one second, whatever. Put a timer on there. It'll create a little bit of hype for when your stream is going to start. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We're going to go into another overlay. So open up another overlay or open up the same overlay, whatever you want to do. All you're going to do is go down to the plus sign. You're going to go to countdown. And then you've got a countdown timer from whatever you want it to be. So say you want five minutes. I would advise not doing anything longer than five minutes. And if you're very new to streaming, I would say do like two minute countdown or something like that. Do like a short countdown if you really want to. I would say do no no greater than five minutes. Some people have 10 minute countdowns and like you get there, like people get there from the notification and they're already gone. But a five minute one, by the time they get there, it's probably gonna be around like two minutes, maybe even a little little more than that. And so maybe they'll be okay to, to wait that amount of time, especially if you're talking underneath the starting soon or whatever it is. So again, you'll hit save, you'll copy that, and then you'll put that in as a browser source into whatever scene you want it to be in. Up next, I wanna show you guys how to do effect filters and audio filters on OBS. One of the best ways to do this is just to right click on whatever you wanna, you want to uh, put the effect on or whatever. And you'll go to filters and you'll see there where you have audio slash video filters or you have effect filters. What you're able to do is just hit the plus sign. And you guys can kind of look through these a little bit. Some of the audio filters or like video filters you may not know. A couple things that you can do here is maybe do a a delay on your video if your audio is coming in a little bit later or or vice versa uh i would highly highly suggest if you do not have a compressor and a noise gate on your mic to probably do that i'm, I'm not going to go too far into that but uh 
yeah, I would highly suggest playing around with those, checking those out. When it comes to effect filters, you got a whole bunch of thing, things. You can do color correction. You can do, you can take the op opacity of things down. You can do the scroll thing we talked about earlier, all that kind of stuff. You've got quite a few things. And not to mention, got our last thing that we're going to be talking about today, which is an image mask. And this is kind of a, this is actually a really cool thing that I want to talk about. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do here is you see uh, like another camera on this screen. This is just my webcam that I have. I have a really messy room right now, so just deal with it. But <laughs> basically, this is my camera. Okay, this is, this is my camera. And what I want to do with this is put an image mask on this. Now, what that is, is... I could turn this webcam into a circle. I could turn it into any shape that I really want. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna use a free software called Canva to do this, just canva.com. I'm going to create a design. I'm going to make this the exact size of my actual camera. So 1920 by 1080, create a new design. I'm going to make the background black. And then whatever shape I want my camera to be, I'm gonna make that shape white. So I'm gonna go over here on the left to elements. I'm gonna go to shapes. I'm gonna go to see all shapes. And let's say we wanna make our uh, camera, I don't know, let's see here. Let's say we wanna make our camera like fancy. Let's go fancy and make it this, okay? I'm gonna make this kind of as big as it can be on here. Cause if you think about it, that's where your, your uh, that's where your cam's gonna come through kind of a thing, you know? So now we're gonna download this. We're not gonna do a transparent background. We're just gonna do a regular background gonna download then we're gonna go back over to our OBS software here we're gonna go to the actual camera that we're on we're gonna right click we're gonna go to filters we're gonna go plus sign on the image mask slash blend hit okay we're gonna go to browse for the path we'll click that one you can double click it also making sure that all of your settings are the same as mine on the screen here and then voila we have a mask. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this video helped you out. If you guys want me to do another one of these videos with like another 10 tips, I'm totally down. Uh, I had a really good time kind of putting this together and stuff like that. And if there's anything you feel like I missed, please put it in the comments down below. Uh, I just tried to make a video that would kind of help out and, and go through a whole bunch of different things that might spark a little bit of creativity within your mind and uh, make your stream better. Again, if you have any questions, you can always use the comments down below. You can come over to my stream Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. You can even DM me on Instagram, Twitter, and all those good things. I've also got quite a few videos on quite a few subjects on streaming, modding, all that kind of stuff. So I'd appreciate if you would like and subscribe, check out some of those videos, all that kind of stuff. Who knows, maybe you'll, uh, you'll learn something new. Maybe not, but maybe. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.